Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be card number two. It's not a series, guys. I'm just making a Christmas card. And this is going to be card number two of the holiday. And I end up using four of the Cricut cartridges. And the Cricut cartridges that I end up using is Disney Classics for the tree, Winter Frolic for the birdhouse, Snow Friends for the snowman, and Pop-Up Neighborhood for um the borders now it's funny because this will be the first time i've cut anything from the pop-up neighborhood cartridge i've been having it for years and i've never really got into it and this is the first cut out of it so guys you know with this cricut explorer it is amazing with design space because you will see cuts that you never thought you had at all because it's all on one screen so you know guys um I would definitely tell you guys, if you can, try to find a sale whenever they have it on sale. And switch to the Cricut Explore because it is an amazing, it's more detailed than the other machines. And it cuts like butter, guys. And then you can use Universal Blades for it. So you don't have to get the Cricut, cart uh, the Cricut uh, Blades for it, like the German Blades. You can order some on eBay. And you get like five blades for the price of what you would get for one. So guys, here we go. Okay, so let's get started. My card base is going to be an A2 size card. So I have a five and a half by four and a quarter. And I scored it at five and a half. So this would be five and a half, four and a quarter by ten scored at five and a half. So let's decorate the inside. Now for the inside, I have my pattern paper, my color paper, which is this blue then I have my design paper that I end up doing my stamping and my design on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to adhere these together, add them to my card base, and then we can start on the front. So I hope everyone's having an awesome Sunday. I'm not doing too bad myself, thank God. I thank God every time I get up, guys, to, for giving me another day, you know, because <clears throat> I don't know if you guys heard. I'm pretty sure you guys heard there was a terrorist attack up in uh, Paris, and it just brought back so many memories of 9-11, and, you know, it shouldn't be like that, guys. Innocent people lost their lives for, you know... I mean, this is what the government and the soldiers go to war for, you know, so we don't have to go through this and they fight for our rights, <clears throat> but you're always going to have people out there that ain't going to like what we do. Which that's fine, you know, but you can't try to change us either. So now I have cut this strip right here. This strip is uh, one fourth strip. And I'm going to add it to the top of my design. And I'm going to show you how I did this. And I didn't even know I had the stamp set till I started looking. So it is awesome. Okay, now for my design, I end up using three stamp sets. I end up using this stamp set and this is from My Mind's Eye. So I used the stamp, Doily stamp right here on the side. Then for the snowflakes and the sentiment, I used Winter Cheer from My Creative Time with Emma. And here goes the snowflakes. And what I did, it don't look too excellent, but, you know, sometimes you don't want the cards perfect either, you know. So there goes the inside of my card. So now let's start decorating the outside. Now, for the outside, I also got a file from um, Little Scraps of Heaven, and I ended up printing my own digital paper because, like I said, I ended up putting a lot of my stuff away, and I don't have no paper. And the whole thing is, is that I did not name the boxes of what paper's in it, so I got so many boxes of papers, I don't even want to go through them, guys. So now I'm going to end up putting my card stock in the middle and then I'm going to lay my pattern paper. And I don't know if you guys know, but Little Scraps of Heaven, every week she gives out a free SVG file 
And a lot of times with the SVG file, she has a digital file also, which, some, you know, which is cool because for people that like to cope with color, instead of cutting out the image, they can draw on it. Okay, now I just want to position this in the middle, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to add my pattern paper. Now, you see this pattern paper is sort of like a, a starry night, and I thought it came out really cute. I don't think I printed it the best for some reason um, it came out lighter than the picture on the computer it could have been my ink but I'm still gonna use it because you know all colors match guys so look at this scene how beautiful this is so now I'm going to add that to my middle of my card just like this And there you go. So I did my own design paper and I love it. So the next thing I want to do is that in um, the pop-up neighborhood, they have a tree border or a tree hill. So it came in two or three layers, but I only used one layer and then I measured it out myself. So what I want to do, I want to add this down right here. I might need to oil this baby up because I use it so much and it's probably wearing out. <laughs> okay, so now I just want to position my cut right on top, which I got to be careful because a lot of times when you print the paper, it peels right up. Okay, just like that. Okay, so there goes our scene. Now, the next thing is, I end up getting the file from Winter Frolic, and Winter Frolic has this branch that has a birdhouse with two birds in the middle, and it was so stinking cute, but it was just the branch. So what I ended up doing was taking a square, measuring the square less than one quarter of an inch, and the length that I wanted it, and I welded them together. And I did the layers on top, as you can see, guys. Now, the eyes were a little bit too small, so what I ended up doing was taking my black pen. And um, I positioned it, you know, I made some eyes. So now I want to position this from the edge top to the bottom. So let me get my glue. And I'm using right now Tombow Monto Mono Liquid Glue. Which I've been having this for a long, long, long time and I never used it. So I figured, ooh, my other glue ran out and I had stored the refill away. So, and like I said, guys, I don't know where nothing's at right now. So now I'm just going to take this with my tweezers and I'm going to position it to the top corner. Just like this and it looks good right there then I'm just gonna press down so everything adheres and with the mono multi liquid glue it's pretty awesome because it gives you a little ways to wiggle 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 so <laughs> okay now since I got my tree branch in there the next thing I want to do is put my other layer so before I do that, I end up getting these trees out of Disney Classics. And I'm going to position them right up on top, just like that. And I got to see. I might could scoot a couple of them down in the back. Let me see. Yeah, I can squeeze a couple of them behind there. Okay, so now I'm just adding a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to position this and, you know, let me do the first edge first. I think I'm going to put this one on the edge. Just like this. And I'm going to press on it. I'm going to add my other one.
and that's gonna look right there then my last one oops, I'm just gonna add it to the corner next to the birdhouse just a little bit and I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit and I think it's gonna look good right there I think I'm gonna move that one over a little bit okay okay so there goes my trees I got them all in place where I want them now I end up using my small cloud punch and I cut out these clouds so now I'm just gonna adhere them where I want them and one's gonna go right up here and then I cut one out of silver and two out of white glitter and this one's gonna go like right under here like right around there and then the other one's gonna go on the other side I want this one to go like behind one of the trees okay now the next thing I want to do is put my other layer down of snow now what I end up doing was I cut two of these one is smaller than the other and then I use this foam adhesive and um, I'm just gonna add some liquid liquid glue and I'm gonna adhere this to the bottom and I'm gonna line it up and this is going to cover the tree branch that is underneath the snow and it's gonna look just like that guys and it'll just take a little bit to glue you know to for it to firmly glue but it will come together okay guys so now the last thing I want to do is in my uh, snow friends I end up cutting out a snowman and I cut this snowman out at two and a half and here goes my snowman guys I think he came out so stinking cute this is actually the first time I used him and he is so stinking cute guys I just love how he looks now for the peachy king face set that I end up using is the PK 484 called so snow many faces and here goes the face that I end up using but the smaller one okay guys so I got him I got her or him on some foam tape or foam adhesive and I'm just gonna add some glue onto the foam and also onto the layer for the simple fact I have this white piece over here popped up and since it's popped up I needed to pop the top part of the snowman and not the bottom part so then I'm gonna add my snowman right here looking just like that and I'm gonna press down on him and I'm going to maneuver his arms to where I want it and it looks good right there oh I just love how this came out so there goes card number two of my Christmas I hope you guys enjoy it says season greeting and the inside it says warmest winter wishes and it came out so cute guys I love it so there goes my card guys I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you like this video please thumbs up you can share my video on Pinterest Instagram Facebook all you have to do is go up to the link right there and press share and you can share it anywhere and you can also come and follow me on Facebook Pinterest Instagram Twitter I'm trying to find out how I can get my address for uh, periscope so you guys could come and join me too i'm still learning a little bit on that but you know i'm getting it it's slowly but surely guys and, you know i think i'm missing one more thing for some reason that sentiment it just looks too plain i'm going to use this small snow stamp and i'm gonna add some snow on the side each side of the sentiment for some reason it just looks too plain 
So I'm going to add a snow right here. And another one on this side. Oh, that looks so much better, guys. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.